As the year 2023 comes to an end, most of us are preparing to set goals and create lists and resolutions for 2024. The new year is not just about the year ending. It is like a goodbye to your old self, the mistakes you made, and the battles you lost all the while hoping for a fresh start with a new year. If you too are looking to rise above the odds and be in the top percentile, you've come to the right place. I'm here not to share the wisdom, but only my experience. To get head of the 99% of the people, you'll have to do what the 99% is unwilling to do. By following these seven habits, you will become top 1% in 2024. Focus on what matters. It's not merely about focus. It's about honing in on what matters. Don't invest time in things that don't make you happier, healthier, or smarter. Watch a show, eat something healthy, read a book, create a lifestyle that leads to ultimate betterment. Whether you prefer podcasts over reading or yoga over exercise, don't squander your energy on activities that don't align with your authentic self. Life is too short to engage in things that fail to ignite your excitement. Navigate away from energy-draining influences like social media or celebrity gossip and invest your time where it truly matters. Take responsibility for your life. Life is riddled with challenges, but success begins with taking responsibility. You have the power to shape your destiny. No one is coming to save you or do the tough tasks for you. They won't get a job for you or start a business for you. It is all you in this game. Make each moment count. Acknowledge flaws, learn from mistakes, and eschew excuses. By taking responsibility, you gain the autonomy to make positive changes and pursue goals with intent. Let go of the need for approval. Success often necessitates breaking free from the chains of external validation. The first time I got a good grade, my mother said, good job. From that day on, I studied like an owl to get the perfect score only to hear those words of affirmation from my parent. That did more harm than good, because when I don't hear those words, I won't be proud of my score. I started setting up validation expectations only to feel proud about my work, to surge ahead, abandon the incessant need for approval. So if people congratulate you, feel happy. If they don't, move ahead. Forge a path guided by internal validation, accepting yourself, including flaws, and pursuing your goals unapologetically. Develop resilience. Resilience is the cornerstone of personal growth. It entails bouncing back from setbacks, adapting to change, and persisting in the face of adversity. You'll have to be comfortable with the idea of failing. For me, whenever I faced a setback, instead of saying I lost, I just said the experiment didn't work. The strongest person is not the one who never lost, but the one who lost, but still got back up. In your journey, there are going to be days when you don't feel motivated. Those are the days when you have to push through and come forth stronger. By developing resilience, you not only weather challenges, but thrive in the midst of them. Embrace the journey. Finding meaning in life is not achieving specific goals or milestones, but rather embracing the journey itself. This means finding joy in the process of growth and self-discovery, rather than focusing solely on the destination. You need to cultivate a sense of curiosity and wonder about the world and approach each day with a sense of adventure and possibility. Most people become unhappy in their mid-twenties because they feel aimless. From a young age, our purposes and goals were defined for you. Go through school, get good grades, get into a good college, get a degree, get a job. By your mid-twenties, you are probably done with this sickly, and then you are confused because you cannot think for yourself anymore. You have no one to tell you what to do, and you think the rest of your life is doing that job and aiming for promotions. You need to embrace that life is all about learning and finding new things. Don't let a set of rules decide what you can do with your life. At the end, there is one last thing I want to say. Climb mountains, not so. The world can see you, but so you can see the world, 